Welcome back. Super excited moving forward. We can write some additional Python program so that we can actually pull a URL from our live web server. And then I'll demonstrate moving forward in subsequent lectures how to work with Amazon recognition and all of these images with image, for example, scene detection, facial analysis, moderation, celebrity recognition, face comparison, and so on. So we'll use Python for each one of these later on. But right now, moving forward, step by step, progressing logically, let's take a look at how to write a Python program so it pulls an image from our web server. Okay, so let me go ahead, jump right in, open up PyCharm. And within PyCharm, I'm going to go ahead and create a new Python file. Let's call it label. Because what we're interested in here is to extract the label from a given image, right? And the image is coming from a live web server. Okay. In our case, my example that I'm demonstrating is the WordPress web server. Perfect. So once you give it a name, click OK. And this is going to create a new file for us. Now, of course, I can start typing the code, such as import photo 3. That's the one that we must use. I can also import, let's say, next few modules, such as ePrint if I need to. If not, I can maybe always use the modules later on. So some of these will remain unused. Notice this is kind of grayed out at this point in time because it's not used. So I'm going to go ahead and also use from print and then import the pretty print. Another thing I want to do is import helper. And that's the file that we actually created earlier on. And then do client equals for three dot client for seven. There we go. Bring in my image URL. So this is image URL equals the variable. And this is where I would need to place my own image URL. So I need to navigate to my WordPress and get the URL from that live web server. Before I do this quickly, notice the import turns into blue, right? Because as soon as I type recognition, Boto kicks in and says, hey, I need a module called Boto3 for me to use recognition. So let me go ahead and minimize this and bring up my WordPress. Okay, let's go to the tab, media library. And then we're just going to pick any one of these images, right? So I'm going to go ahead and let's say pick the image where individuals are working out. All right. So I'm going to grab the URL, copy it, and then go back to PyCharm and paste the URL. So this is the URL that this is now going to, in fact, fetch for me. So what you need to do next is, of course, once you have the URL, I'm going to go ahead and right, then reference the helper file. The helper file contains the get image from the URL. Of course, I need to store the result somewhere. So let's do a variable result client dot detect label. That's what we were after. We're in fact going to detect all of the labels and extract them from this URL that contains an image. So let's do an image equals curly braces bytes and then great and let's do the print simply print out the result great so it looks like we have a small python program let's navigate to the helper it's just asking me if it wants to install the package helper or not well i'm not looking for helper i'm actually in fact looking to reference the helper.py file this is good, by the way, because I need to maybe change the name. So I'm going to say helper image. And then, of course, rename the file here as well. So it references the correct file. So let's go ahead and click on refactor and then rename. And I'm going to call this helper underscore img. Click on refactor. And this is going to change the name for this. Let's go ahead and fix up references for helper img and the reason why it's not picking up the module is because because it says right here in the message uh, ignore unresolved reference helper underscore img so now i have the helper underscore image dot py file and this time it should resolve the actual module 
I'm going to say ignore unresolved. Save the helper or labels.py file. And let's execute. So let's go ahead and go to run and then run the helper or labels.py rather. There we go. And let's see what it fetches from this particular URL. And there we go. So let's scroll up here all the way to the top, make this bigger. Awesome. So what it did was it went out there, it fetched the URL, and then it's just the label keyword, right? So it's going to give us everything that's part of the rule. So it's going to give us the confidence interval, which is 99.87. Instances, name is human. Instances for the bounding box, because there's several other humans, right? There's a height, left, top, width because it places a square box next to that image. So it finds and recognizes all of the humans in that images, in that picture rather. And then of course, it detects a person, confidence level of those, also finds the playground, awesome. And then finds some shoes, apparel, okay, footwear, clothing, outdoor play area, and of course the response metadata also, great. Again, it fetches all of these labels. Let's take a look at the actual image. So I already have this image within my PyCharm, by the way. Okay, If not, you can always go to your WordPress and, or your web server and take a look at it. So let's see if I have the outdoor exercise. Great. Perfect. This is the right image. Notice there are about three, four, five men working out right in an outdoor park. So on the labels, it says it's human, right? So it detects human. And then of course, it detects all of the confidence levels for each of these individuals by placing boxes around them. So if I were to use this image in AWS recognition and upload this image, I'm gonna get the same results, okay? I'm gonna demonstrate that as well. So it finds the apparel, finds footwear, right? All of these shoes that it finds clothing, play area, right? so play area, perfect. Let's take a look at what it looks like in AWS recognition within Amazon console. So let's go ahead and switch to our console, minimize this, let's go to recognition console, and let's go object and scene detection. And I'm gonna go ahead and upload the file from my images folder. And here's the outdoor exercise, it's open. So I'm going to go ahead and upload the file and then give us the results. And we can kind of compare the results with our own Python program, right? Once it extracts the label from this particular image. So a couple of ways you can do it. You can do it directly in AWS recognition, but since we're working with Python and we have external developers who do not have access to the console, if you recall one of the earlier lessons, we created a user and only provided that user programmatic access, right? Not the access to the actual console. Wonderful. So it picks up the person, right? Human, play area, playground, clothing, and footwear. And once again, these are, if I show more, it shows you shoe, apparel, and outdoor play area. And if I were to navigate back to my pie charm, play area, outdoor play area, clothing, I have footwear, shoe, apparel, person, play area, playground, right? Awesome. Switch back. So these are all of the Images being detected, and notice it places a box right around the person and around the shoe, similarly for this particular person, and so on. If I scroll down, I can take a look at the response also, which is in JSON format, and this is exactly what you've seen within Python as well. So it's a JSON output that you're getting a bounding box with a confidence interval with each of these boxes. And then you're getting the name person. So it's pretty neat, very powerful. So that way you can actually use Python to pull images from anywhere on the web or your own images and then start to extract labels. Back to text. There we go. So all you did was simply write a Python program called label.py. It's about 13 lines of code, right? With several white spaces that you can see and it's gonna go and fetch all of the details for you. Now, what you can do is also, of course, extract just the labels, and you don't want this additional information such as confidence intervals or 
other JSON format? What if I'm just looking for a list of all the labels? That I'm going to demonstrate in the next lesson. Let me, in fact, quickly demonstrate this. Let's go ahead and fetch another URL. Let's minimize this. Close this. Let's fetch my own URL. See what happens. So let's copy this. Go back to our PyCharm. And I'm going to go ahead and paste my own URL here. Image URL. There we go. And run the program again. To run. Click on run. Run the labels. And let's see what happens. Perfect. So we get the result. Expand this particular window. Go all the way up. And see what it finds about myself. Oh boy. All right. So it's human. If I have a confidence level of 99%. Then it places a bounding box. Height, left, top, and width is provided. Person. And then I'm going to go scroll down. Bring shirt. Great. Also, notice that it picks up a label called finger and thinks I'm sitting. Cushion, leisure activities, sleep. Perfect. Let's try it out in the console and see what happens. So let's switch to our console quickly. Let me go ahead and upload this particular image and see what happens with the results. Awesome. So again, we get the same results, right? It finds the human, person, apparel, clothing, home decor, man. And then I can click on show more, shirt, finger, setting, cushions, leisure activities, and sleep. Great. The output is in JSON form. Switch to our pie chart. So again, we have human, we have person, we have clothing, apparel, home decor, man. I think they're pretty much all in here too, right? So if you were to do a comparison from the console, the Amazon console, AWS recognition console, or PyCharm, you should be able to point out all of these labels. And again, in the next lesson, I'm going to demonstrate filtering out just these labels, right? Do not want the additional details such as parents or confidence. You just want the list of labels. So I'm going to demonstrate that in the next lesson. I think that'll help you a lot. All right, perfect. So if you have any questions, post in the discussion area. I'll be glad to answer. Practice with this. And let's move to the next lesson.